since 1957 that was for dr karen kuma gained independence for mm-hmm. us till now that we are living in the republic of nanado down okay. whatever that you know in ghana football you have mm. to bring it to bear mm. and make us know that you are truly prepared mm. to win the ultimate mm. and so in the space of 30 minutes three horse will battle out yes, then sir. we find out those who will be moving to the semis and to the finals so we'll find competition. out those who'll be winning um, but let me run you through the groups again in group a africa hall queens hall university hall group b there's unity hall um independence mm. hall and republic hall so out of these three um repping from each group one will emerge winner yes one will uh, emerge winner and, and, and so uh you know we have something in kenya still politics yeah. Udi second worry. worry we don't relax, have any second position here we don't have any second place here yes the second <laughs> position they, 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 they will move on mm-hmm. but then it's better for you to be first yes because it's, it's, be it's going to be um uh, uh, um, bad with points. Yeah, you you yeah. can be second, but your points accumulation might be lower yeah. than another uh, second place. Yeah, man. So yeah. to be on the safer side, please win your contest. All right. So that's the advice coming in from the quiz master who uh, will be taking the seat in the next minute. But you are still live on Focus FM KNST on Facebook. Please join the stream. Of course, put down your comments. I already see a comment coming in from Etu Ahini Jesse Mano saying, "Great, great show." Uh, Etu Ahini. Yes, yes, yes. Pierre, 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 United, Pierre. But you can also join us and please share and share and like and drop your comments live on Facebook. 05 um, 497 is also active. And of course, our WhatsApp line is 0575-943-943-0575-943-943-020-3022-0220-0223-022022. Focus FM 94.3. Don't change your dial. We will be back with the Interhall Sports Quiz was but then we have to start and so we're starting without university hall and then it's going to be battled out between africa hall and queen's hall the the, the 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 contest comes to you in three rounds okay round one is um your general knowledge and um all sporting activities ranging from football to swimming from basketball to tennis from hockey to badminton everything you know about sports should be brought forth here round two comes to you about everything african football everything african football from chan to afcon to Avu zone a zone b to african champions league and african confederations cup round three is whatever you know in ghana football when we started galka top four galka top eight ghana premier league normalization league novel league everything you know in ghana football the national teams the division one division two league the women's premier league and everything that you know in ghana football should be bring forth here today on this competition and so without much ado i would like to um have my contestants speak to us and introduce themselves to us so i was starting from my, my far right and so i start from um master uh from uh queen's hall you mention your name and then uh, you give us uh, your introduction and expectation for today's contest my name is samuel hefododum senior Please Queen's amplify your voice for us. My name is Samuel Hefododum Senior. Samuel Hefododum okay. Senior, yeah. So Queen's Hall should expect the best from me. Queen's Hall should expect the best for you. That's what Samuel Odum has for uh, supporters of Queen's Hall. Yes, Master. So I am Ezekiel Aku Emisa, the rep from Africa Hall. Ezekiel Aku Emisa from Africa, Africa Hall. Hall. And so yes. uh, my contestants are Samuel from Queen's, Ezekiel from Africa Hall. Let the game begin. Uh, so, like I said, um, the game comes to you in three rounds. So, round one is an. Uh, I have two rules for you. Um, so, one session comes to you in open end. So, in the open end, you have to attempt to answer a question. Okay. And so, it, for your uh, ability to answer a question right, you get three points. When you answer it wrongly, it's passed on as bonus to your next competitor who answers it for a, a, a point. A question, I mean, a general question is te- last 10 seconds. A bonus lasts 5 seconds. Are we abreast with the rules? Can we start the game? Yes, we can. Round 1. I start from Queen's Hall. Queen's Hall. Where did the first modern Summer Olympic Games take place? In 1896. Where did the modern Summer Olympic Games take place? In 1986. Brazil. Wrong. <coughs> Build out. Bonus to Africa. China. Wrong. And that's it. So the modern Summer Olympic Games 
took place in 1986 at Athens, Greece. Athens, Greece. Africa, your major question. Who was the most valuable player in the just-ended NBA campaign? Jokic of Denver Nuggets. Wrong. Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid is scored for three points. Queens, your major question. Who is the only player to have won the UEFA Champions League with three different clubs? Uh, Maldini. Maldini is wrong. You've been bailed out. Bonus to Africa. Clarence Seedorf. Clarence Seedorf is correct for a point. Africa, your major question. Before Andy Murray, who was the last British tennis player to win a men's single Grand Slam competition? Before Andy Murray, who was the last British tennis player to win a men's single Grand Slam tournament? been bailed out bonus to queens bailed out and the answer is fred perry fred perry now queens your major question who is the all-time top scorer of the german bundesliga robert lewandowski Nope. Gerd Müller. Gerd Müller is scored for three points. <laughs> Africa. Your major question. Who is the top scorer or the leading all-time goal scoring striker for the English Premier League? Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer is scored for three points. <laughs> Queens. Your major question. And this is a true or false statement. So you have just an attempt. Atletico Madrid has won two UEFA Champions League titles. False. False is correct for three points. <clears throat> Africa. Xavier Hernandez scored the winning goal in the 2010 World Cup final. False. False is scored for three points. Of course, was Andres Iniesta that scored the winning goal in 2010. This round, or this set, is in the form of a riddle. So I give you clues, then give me the answer. You have two attempts. I have won the UEFA Champions League and World Cup. And Queens, that's your major question. I have won the UEFA Champions League and World Cup. I have played with Cristiano Ronaldo in one club and Lionel Messi in club and national team. I have played in Spain, in France, in Portugal, in England. Who am I? The riddle again. I have won the UEFA Champions League and World Cup. I have played I have played with Cristiano Ronaldo in one club and Lionel Messi in a club and national team. I have played in France, in Portugal. In Spain and in England, who am I? Angel Di Maria. And it is Angel Di Maria for three points. <laughs> Africa. I am the fastest man. I run 9.58 meters. You seen both. You seen both is quite for three points. It's quite for three points. Africa. Oh, sorry, Queens. Which female tennis player has won? The highest number of Grand Slams. Which female tennis player? Serena Williams. Nope, it is not Serena Williams. You have another attempt. Naomi. Bailed out. Bonus to Africa. Steffi Graf. Nope, it's wrong. The answer is Margaret Court. 24 Grand Slam titles, Margaret Court. Africa. 
Usain Bolt is still the fastest man in the world, running 100 meter race in a space of 9.58 seconds. In which year did he set the record? Two thousand and twelve Olympic Games. No, sir. Two thousand and eight. Wrong. That is two thousand. No, bonus to bonus to Queens. I'm sorry. Two thousand and nine. Two thousand and nine is correct for a point. <laughs> Queens, your major question. Why is the next summer Olympic Games going to take place? I want the city and the country. China. You are wrong. I said I want the city and the country. Your last attempt. Belled out. Bonus to Africa. Beijing, China. It is wrong. It is Paris, France. Paris, oh, France. Forgot. Are we? Are we good? Can we go on? Can we go on? Africa. Your major question. Okay. Name the three players to win the 2018 2019 Premier League Golden Boots. So you're mentioning three names Mohamed Salah Gali, Sadio Mani, Pierre Emerick Obameyang. And that is correct for three points. <laughs> Last set of questions for the round. Last set of questions for round one. Last set of questions for round one. Last set. Jason Klopp began his managerial career at which club? Um, the German side, uh, Men's 05. German side, Men's 05 is correct for three points. Last question for this round. Last question for this round. And it goes to Africa. Mention one. Just one of the all time three Afcon of the all time top three Afcon goal scorers. Mention just one Samuel Etofield. Samuel Etofield is scored for three points, and that ends it for round one. Uh, from that uh, break, um, so round one just, just ended, and then um, we have a substitution coming in from Queen's Hall. So Queen's Hall has replaced Samuel Odum with Master Julius. Welcome, Julius. Uh, thank you. Um, Sami had uh, high hopes for Queen's Hall. What do you have for your fans? <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we are killing the, the, this round. You are killing this yeah, round. We Welcome. Killing um, so, um, these are the scores for round one. Round one, Africa had 19 points and Queen's Hall 13 points. Africa 19, Queen's 13. We move on to round two. <coughs> like I said, in my um, prelude, I said the round two covers African football. African football. So you move. I start with Africa. Africa. Samuel Eto is one of the three top goal scoring strikers of the AFCON. Who are the other two? Build out bonus to Queens. Laurent Pupuku. Okay. Andre, are you? No. So Queens had one over two, correct? And so he gets 0.5. So the answer is Laurent Poku and Rashidi Yakini. Queens, your major question. In which year did Nigeria? win their first Afcon trophy. Two thousand and bailed out wrong bonus to Africa. Nineteen eighty two. Nineteen eighty four. Wrong, wrong. It's nineteen eighty. Queens, your major question. Which year 
was African Cup of Nations established? 1956. Wrong? 57. 57 is correct. Africa. Which African club has won the most calf Champions League trophies? Al Ali of Al Egypt. Al Ali of Egypt is scored for three points. Queens, your major question. Yeah. Which nation became the first African nation to play in the FIFA World Cup? First African nation. Cameroon. Cameroon, I'm not taking it. Morocco. Morocco, I'm not taking it. Bonus to Africa. Egypt. Egypt is scored for a point. Egypt is scored for a point. Now, Africa, your major question. In which year did Egypt make their first entry in FIFA World Cup? Nineteen... Sixty-eight. That's wrong. You've been bailed out. Bonus to Af bonus to Queens. Nineteen sixty-four. Nineteen sixty-four is wrong. Now, the answer is nineteen thirty-four. Queens, your major question. There are two top scorers of the CAF Champions League. And so there's a preamble to both of us. I take one answer from you, I take the other from Africa. So give me one. That we repeat it. Who is the all time top scorer for Africa's Calf Champions League? There are two. I'm taking one from you, I'm taking one from Africa. Is it Shishma or Khatib? No. Mohamed Abu Trika. Mohamed Abu Trika for a point. Africa. Africa, your major question. Give me the other one. Anyway, time starts now. Major question. You give me the night, the, the last name. Um, he's he's <laughs> he's from DR Congo. I, I want the name, the name, please. Build out bonus to Queens. Build out the answer is Tressor Imputu. Tressor Imputu. Now, who Afri Queens, right? Who is the oldest player to score in the African Cup of Nations? Who is the oldest player to score in the African Cup of Nations? Roger Miller. Nope. Build out Africa for a bonus. Egypt International Mahmoud Al Hassan. Egypt International Mahmoud Al Hassan. Hussam. I'm not taking that for a bonus. I'm not taking that for a bonus. Of course, he's an Egypt International. He's an Egyptian. He's Hussam has Hussam. Oh, sorry. So how old was he when he set this record? Your major question. 41 years old. I'm sorry. 38 years. I'm sorry. 37. No, you have to answer. Sorry. 39. 39 is correct for a point, Queens. 39 is correct for a point. Last set. Last set. Last set. Shiva Inzigu is the youngest player to play in AFCON. At what age was Shiva Inzigu? Queens. 17 years. I'm sorry. 18 years. I'm sorry. Bonus to Africa. 16. 16 is correct for a point. 16 years is correct for a point. Africa. Your major question and the last question for this round. Who won AFCON 2008? Egypt. 
Egypt is scored for three points. Egypt is scored for three points. And that brings us to the end of round two. That brings us to the end of round two. So at the end of round two, Africa had nine points. Queens had 4.5. Africa had <coughs> nine points. For clarity's sake, it was a bonus. I was taking two answers and Queens provided an answer. And so they were given 0.5. So Africa has nine after round two. Queens has 4.5. We are moving in to round three. Round three. Round three. <coughs> this is Ghana football. Ghana football. I start from Queens. Queens. How many Ghanaian clubs? have won the CAF Champions League. Two. Two is scored for three points. Africa. What was Asamoidjan's first professional club? Liberty Professionals. Liberty Professionals is scored for three points. Painful. Only one Ghanaian has played for FC Barcelona. Who is this person? Kelvin Prince Boateng. Kelvin Prince Boateng is scored for three points. Africa. In which year did Ghana win its first, its last AFCON? Sorry. Its last AFCON. 1982. 1982 is scored for three points. Queens. Who was the first Ghanaian to win the Champions League? Mike Rissian. Mike Rissian, I'm sorry. Suleiman Tari. Suleiman Tari, I'm sorry. Bonus to Africa Hall. Sami Osekufo. Sami Osekufo is not correct. The answer is Abedi Pele. Abedi Pele. Abedi Pele. Uh, please, um, this is a censored program, and so we should be mindful of the language that we are using here. He's sorry. Apologies, audience. Um, Queens, or whose major question? Africa's major question. Thank you, sir. So, Africa, in which year did Abedi Pele win the UEFA Champions League? 1998. I'm sorry, sir. 1996. You are wrong. You've been bailed out. Bonus to Queens. 1990. Two. 1992 is wrong. The answer is 1993. Last it. Last it. Last it. And I'm going to be so magnanimous and so cheap questions. <coughs> Two clubs have won the CAF Champions League in Ghana. Mention the names of these clubs. Correct for three points. Correct for three points. Correct for three points. Last question for the round. And last question for co the context. Africa Hall. Who is the headline sponsor for the Ghana Premier League? Bet Power. Bet Power. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of round three. And from that um, short interlude, you're back to the studios of Focus 94.3. And then uh, we're still here uh, for our Inter Hall Sports Competition. And so, at the end of the first contest um, between Africa Hall and Queen's Hall, here are the scores. Queen's Hall. 26.5 points. 26.5 points. Africa Hall. 37 points. 37 points. And so Africa Hall uh, have carried the day in the first contest. But then I would like to put across that um, both um, halls advances to the semi-finals of this year's Inter. Because 